Okay, I'm gonna bring you through my work day today. I only have uh, two dogs on the schedule and they're a pair, they come together. And that's just cause I have um, a couple of things I have to do uh, volunteer wise afterwards. So that should bring me to the afternoon for the two of them cause the one is a little bit big. Um, but I'm gonna take you on a day in the life. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my filing cabinet and find their files so I can remember uh, just what I did on the last couple of times, just in case there's any changes or even the same thing, then I happen to know. All right, and then next up after that, I'm going to empty my dehumidifier into the bathtub so that it can be empty and ready and running so that I am getting all the moisture sucked out uh, so that it doesn't impact my drying time. Okay, Millie and Finn are here. And I have to pre-clip Millie here because she's got a really thick coat and um, she just takes forever to dry if I do not give her a pre-clip. Usually I try to avoid it and I will be tossing uh, Finn again right there in the bath. Um, right when uh, Millie is done, they're gonna be bathed together. And that's just uh, a quicker and easier way Trying to make it so that my job is as easy as possible. You good, good Millie? Millie's very shy, whereas Finn is the outgoing one. Okay, Millie here is a 5F body with a 4F leg. And I'm gonna get started. Come here, Millie. Come here, buddy, a little bit. As I said, I am just pre-clipping, so it is not going to be perfect. It's going to be far from perfect, but that's the point. It's just to get as much hair off as you possibly can so that you're not washing it all, but it's not like a final pretty haircut. So quick, 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 as fast as you can. I'm gonna start off wetting just their faces and then applying their face wash and I like to apply their face washes and then do their bodies and then I will condition them and then I will rinse their faces so it sits on their face for a while and that's just because it's it really needs to be deeply cleansed around there. I'm gonna let it warm up a little bit it's cold. So the reason that I like to try not to get their bodies wet, although I've not been so successful here, but is I like to apply my shampoo to a dry coat. And the reason for that is so that it does not get diluted. Um, I don't want it to be, because it's already going to mix with water as it comes out of the uh, nozzle attachment, but I do not want it to be any more diluted than that. So I'm going to fill up my shampoo into here and then um, it'll mix it and it'll spray them down. I have to use this <laughs> um, paper towel because once my hands are wet, to turn this is actually quite difficult. So I use a paper towel and that works really well. Okay, and I find putting it on the mist setting to start helps to distribute the shampoo a bit better. Um, and then I will go in with the shower setting once they're pretty covered. Millie. So with Millie, I use quite a bit of shampoo 
And the reason being is her coat is thick and it has a tendency to feel a little greasy. So she kind of needs a little bit of extra more than I would do on a normal dog. Well, not a normal dog, but you know, one with a different coat uh, of her size. But you know, you got to do what you got to do in order to get the best results because a clean canvas is really going to be what makes a haircut good. So the less greasy she is, the nicer her haircut will look. And we want to look nice, right Millie? I'm going to go in and do I need nearly as much shampoo that is about a one and a half ounce or so and it is mud season here in Ontario, Canada so most of my dogs Right now, they're pretty dirty. Do a little extra here. Nothing wrong with two washes. Sometimes with their feet in this season too, depending on how they come in, I will uh, give their feet an extra scrub directly with shampoo, not with this. It's like straight on their skin. Because they are so dirty, those paw pads, especially if they've gone a while or have hairy paw pads, then they need a little extra love. All right. I'm going to do their conditioner and then we will see them. Okay, everybody is uh, nice and clean, except for, I'm going to show you, I use this tool here. It's actually for... Uh, carting out like wire coats and uh, it's great though for cleaning out the eyes and that's what I'm going to do because Millie here always gets like a lot of gunk just around her eyes. Oops. Hang on Finn. And it's pretty easy once it's been washed and like nice and wet and damp for a while. It comes right out there. Oh Millie you're so me. And then I just Put it with the rest of the stuff in the drain that I gotta wash out. Take a look at you, Finn. I don't think you have it. Ah, one little boogie. Not too bad. All right, now let me show you my drying process. And so, this is what works best. So I have my dehumidifier on. Oh, nice, Millie. Really. Big burp. Oh, get in there. Those ears. She loves this part. She's so sweet. Everybody loves the rub down. But aside from, you know, obviously drying off the dogs with the towel. Oops. You've come undone. I have a squeegee. And I actually use this because water accumulates on the bottom of the tub. Now it will eventually go down the drain, but the thing is, I can't see me squeegeeing. But the thing is that, um, you can see the water down there. It takes a bit for it to actually go down the drain. And I do not want all of the water sitting down there so when I'm blow drying it is getting back up on my dog re-wetting them and then me having to blow dry for longer it's gonna take longer my finish isn't gonna be quite as nice oh really good girl you gotta lift your foot there nope and again oh you're really shaking it out milk Okay, 
you know, it's never going to be perfect in terms of <laughs> it being completely water-free because obviously they're dripping water from the coats. I mean, I can do my best to get it out, but that's, you know, what the blow dryer is for. But as long as there's not big puddles, it takes a couple minutes just to squeegee it out. And you can towel dry. I take my towel, I haven't done a pin yet, but this towel is no good anymore. It's pretty wet. And I'm gonna put it at the bottom of my tub there to soak up any of the excess moisture. Sometimes I'll actually do two. Like I will soak up what I can with this towel I lay down. And then after I've dried them with more towels, I will scooch that one kind of aside and lay down a fresh one. So it's a little bit drier. The trick is get your face as dry as possible before you start drying. So you're just not having any excess moisture laying around trying to impede your job. The longer you take, the less money you make. Towel drying faces is great because most of them absolutely hate to be blow dried in their face, which I don't blame them, but obviously they have hair there too, so it's got to get dry. But the more moisture we can remove, the less blow drying we have to do in that area. Now Millie here has got a curlier coat, so you're going to want to get that as straight as possible, but obviously... You know, there's only so much you can do. Think again, I'm gonna move that towel. I'm gonna put this one down. Okay, no. Hey, roll the sleeves. And I'm gonna use this. This is um, a quick dry spray. I just like to spray it after they've been towel dried, so they have less moisture. But I know. And then I just kind of rub it in for them. Now, if Millie here was getting a long haircut, which she is not, it's a fairly short haircut, I actually would not spray her with the quick dry spray because she has a curly coat. And if you spray quick dry spray on a curly coat, which, you know, works well, um, you're gonna end up with, generally speaking, a curlier finish because you need to work very fast to get that to uh, really puff up. Okay, blow dry time. Now what I'm gonna do for my friends here is I'm gonna put on, oh, this one's inside out, a happy hoodie onto each of them. And this helps too, it's like a towel for their heads, so it'll get their ears and whatnot a little drier. And also, Muffle the noise, because it can be pretty loud. Okay, here we go. Ah, ah, yeah, buddy. You're not going to be able to see. So Miss Millie here is nice and dry, uh, pretty much. It's just, she's got a little bit around her face, as I said. You know, not the biggest fan of having her face done. She's a pretty nervous dog. So I'm gonna use this lovely little tool here. Um, this part is a brush. It does have little um, uh, beads, <laughs> that's the right word. But the, so it's not as scratchy, um, which I do like because these are pretty thin um, wires. So I would imagine they'd be quite scratchy otherwise. And then the heat slash, um, it's lovely Millie to do that on camera. <laughs> um, the heat slash air comes out of this part here. Generally, they're less uh, afraid of it. It's called the eye petty. Whoop. 
her tail is pretty matted, so I'm gonna go in with this Eye Groom Magic Detangler Conditioning Spray just on her tail, because she is, as I mentioned, a little bit of like kind of a greasier dog. Um, so I wouldn't want to spray this all over her body, but just on her tail here to try and help detangle. She got a little bit of that in there. So as I said, they like her pretty short, even like a short, still a little bit of a stylized face. Uh, as you can see, it's a bit longer here, but generally speaking, they like her pretty, pretty short. Look at how cute this is. Finn here fell asleep. Oh, I woke him up. Poor Finn. Finn again. He is all set. We're gonna get him all ready to go. Millie's ready, and then we're gonna take some pictures of him. All right, let's do that.